So you have two types of plates. You have the flat plate, front plate, and the spacer plate. Spacer plate tells you how thick the gel is going to be. So you put the plates together and you put them in the apparatus and you close it. Now the sides are sealed. So one of the problems with pouring gels, the most common problem is they leak out the bottom before they polymerize. One solution is to have some parafilm and I'll show you the second solution in a second. So once you have the system set up, you need to know how much of the gel you actually need to pour. So there's actually two pieces of the gel, the bottom part and, and uh, loading gel. So the loading gel is gonna be the size of the comb to load your samples. So you have to put the comb inside, put the comb in there, and then you wanna make a mark a little bit below the comb, show you where to pour the gel. When you pour the gel, you want to pour it a little bit above the mark because when it polymerizes, it'll shrink up. So we're going to do a gradient gel, which means the bottom of the gel is going to be heavy with acrylamide and the top part of the gel is going to be light with acrylamide. So I'm going to show you, demonstrate how to pour a gradient gel. Take the comb out. Now we'll mix up our solutions. The acrylamide is toxic. You don't want acrylamide all over your space. So in case it leaks, you always want to put some paper towels down to collect the chromite if it does leak. So I'm just adding some water. Next thing I want is the 1.5 molar Tris pH 8.8. Next thing I want, 40% acrylamide, 2% this, P68. So there's two reagents that are important, the Temid and the APS. When the Temid combines with the APS, that's what forms the catalyst. So the catalyst actually forms when these two things hit each other. So as soon as you add both of these together, it's going to start polymerizing. Okay. So if I'm making a gradient gel and I need two right at the same time to start polymerizing, you want to wait and save that until like very last to mix those. So I'm going to have the temid, but I'm not going to add the APS. So when you're pipetting small, tiny volumes, make sure you're pipetting liquid into the liquid. Don't actually try to like spit it in, like dip it in there. Okay, so this has everything except the APS. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and let it sit. Now we're gonna mix up the heavy. Now I'm going to mix up the heavy. So the heavy wants glycerol. Can you grab some 75% glycerol? The glycerol just helps the mix, mixing smoothly. So which one is going to have more acrylamide? The heavy or the light? Yeah, not a trick. That's why it's heavy. These are now mixed up. They're not going to start polymerizing until I add APS. I'm going to get them set up in the gradient. The other way to solve the leakage problem, the premature leakage, is you take a little bit of the heavy. Just take a little bit of the heavy solution, like 300 microliters, put it in a tube, add some APS, just put like 10 microliters. So as soon as I add this, it'll start polymerizing. The polymerization process will take about five minutes. Okay. So I've added it, pick it up, and then we can just add this as what's called a plug. Your wife's calling me. It never ends, does it? You want me to end? No, don't, no. 
So I added, I put a little plug there and I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna let the plug polymerize. So let's give it five minutes, let the plug polymerize and then we'll do the gradient. So I'm gonna, I hope that this is closed. Close this in. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to add the APS. I hope to God that this is closed. Oh, f see, I did not think about that. There's a, there's a knob somewhere that I can close this tip. Yeah. But I don't know which orientation is closed. I think it's this should be closed. I hope you got it. Looks closed. Okay. So this is what you want to do. So get get a shot of this so I can edit out my huge mistakes. You don't want it dripping all over. I got it. <laughs> You'll just think you're perfect in the video, huh? Oh, I, I will edit it that way, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, okay, now we need the show to add the APS. As soon as he adds APS, it's going to start polymerizing, and that's when I want to start mixing them. And if you're going to do this, you can do this multiple ways. I've done it like this, where you literally put in the APS and pour it. I've also done it where there's a solid setup for it, and there's a pump that pumps it out of like a tube. That's the most convenient way to do it, but I don't have a pump set up right now. Oh, okay. that makes sense. And then get the heavy quick. Good. Okay. So they should now be polymerizing. Now the trick is, let's see if I can do this. So the trick is to open this, get it pouring into the plate as it mixes. So I'm gonna open this, open this. Oh, oh God, it's pouring really fast. Put some music on in this part. Hang on. Okay, that, that, that might have actually been pretty good. So, if you do the, hang on, I'll answer that question in a second. That was really fast. Like, if you do the pump, it slows it down and you like have some time to mix and it mixes. That was really fast. But it doesn't mean it didn't work. Like, things can mix fast too. So, you said, what's to stop it from what? What's going to stop it? Density. So density and plus the glycerol, like the glycerol adds a little bit of resistance to the mixing. Um, so no, now normally what you do is notice there's a few bubbles. Normally what you do is you take a, you take some isopropyl alcohol and you put it on top. What do you do? So you normally do this with a pasture pipe pad. This is really bad. You don't ever want to do this. Don't, don't, don't ever, don't film that. Don't, don't, like, you don't want to do Don't film that. But then you just put a, you put a layer of isopropyl alcohol and you should come look at this quick. Like the layers will separate. You can see the two layers. Yeah, you see it. That's how you get a perfect flat transition gel.